everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel all about Aoife. I'm Aoife and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this natural everyday makeup look. This is a really easy look to achieve. It's perfect for beginners and it's going to take you five minutes to do this look. Keep watching to achieve this natural everyday makeup look. like me and sometimes you just cannot be bothered to put on a full face of makeup or maybe you're in a rush and you have to do a really quick makeup routine then this one is perfect for you. It's nice to let your skin breathe sometimes and sometimes you don't want that heavy foundation look every day of the week. So let's get started on our natural no makeup makeup look. So for this makeup look, highlighter is going to be key. It's going to make our skin look awake, feel alive. Something that we want from a no makeup makeup look. We want our skin to still have that glowy feel that we get from foundation sometimes without of course using foundation. So I'm going to start off by using some moisturizer. I have already popped this simple moisturizer on my skin about five minutes before starting because I like to let the moisturizer set into my skin. Next of all, I'm going to use some strobe cream by MAC. So I'm just using this strobe cream to pop it on places that would naturally be highlighted. So you need a very small amount of this product. I've just put it on the back of my hand and I'm just going to use my finger to put it onto my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose, cupid's bow, on a little on the chin and then last of all I'm going to pop it on my eyelid. So to get the little bit of coverage we need, I'm going to use some concealer. So today I'm using this MAC concealer, it's a cream stick concealer. I find it hard to get concealers that I like and this one is very good. I find that it doesn't sit in the creases on your face, under your eyes especially, and it's nice, it gives a nice bit of coverage all day long. So taking my concealer, I'm just going to start to apply it under my eye in a sort of triangle shape to get that under eye circles or any darkness under there concealed. I'm gonna apply some to the tip of my nose and also a little bit on my forehead. I'm going to my chin where there are a few blemishes and on my lip here. And then I'm just gonna drag some down where I would normally contour and I do have a little bit of redness here. So I'm just gonna conceal that. We don't want too much, we really do want our skin to shine through. So I'm taking this stippling brush here. It has kind of a flat head. This is one from Primark. I find it really good, especially for under the eye and kind of patting in the concealer. with the concealer and we have a beautiful concealed face we're gonna move on to our powder so we're just using today this essence all about matte it's a translucent powder a fixing compact powder and it's just gonna set that concealer really in place so I'm gonna take my powder brush here so what I love about this product is the fact that it's kind of like an in-between a blush and a bronzer. It's more of a pinky tone than my normal bronzer that I would use which is more of an orangey tone. It actually says natural beauty on the back so I think it's perfect for this tutorial. So I'm taking my brush, this is my bronzer brush and I'm just going to put a little bit of product on. We don't want too much because again we want to keep it as natural as possible and I'm going to go onto my cheekbones and yeah we get that nice bronzed contoured effect but it's not too severe which is what we're looking for et voila you can already see the difference you can see the cheekbones but it's not like in your face and that's exactly what we're looking for so we're going to move on to the next part of our fabulous natural makeup tutorial Highlighter, highlighter, highlighter. This is an essential part to our natural makeup look. I say it's essential because we wanna give that glow that our foundation usually gives. We wanna look alive, we want our skin wants to look awake and beautiful without having a ton of makeup on. So today I'm gonna to be using this cream stick highlighter from Kiko. I've actually had it for so long that all the writing has worn off. I love cream stick highlighters. I think it's they're really nice. I do really like powder highlighters, but the cream stick one, if you can get your hands on one, definitely get one. They're amazing. This one has lasted me for ages and ages. I've probably had it like three years, I think. I don't even know if you're supposed to keep making that long. Our highlighter is going to be an essential part to this makeup look and I actually am going to use it on the eyes. You're like, hmm, highlighter on the eyes? Yes, highlighter all over the eyes. So I'm just going to rub the stick over my eye like that. Really simple and then just using my finger, I'm just going to blend it. Next up on the eye, I am using this Inglot. 
I don't actually know the shade of it. It's a really burnt orangey brown colour. It's really good for blue eyes. That's why I bought it in the first place. And it's nice to give a natural look every day. I would re definitely recommend this. It's kind of an on-trend colour at the moment as regards eye colours. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of the product because these Inglot colours are very pigmented. And I'm just going to apply it to the socket of my eye. Kind of in the crease there. I'm blending it down. And again on the other eye, just taking a small bit of product. Bam. I'm also going to apply a little bit of the product to under the eye. And so you can already see that it's lovely natural look on the eyes. It's made my eyes pop. They look more awake, they look more alive, and it's exactly what I'm looking for. And so now we're gonna move on to the next step, which is our mascara. I can't say that I have a favorite mascara. I just kind of go with whatever's there, and it works for me. My eyelashes are quite long, so I'm not that particular on the brush shape or anything. So I'm just gonna apply mascara. So I'm just gonna apply a kind of a thin coat of mascara. We don't wanna go too overboard or heavy, because again, we're keeping it natural. A small bit on your bottom lashes, Our eyes are beautiful and natural and now we are ready to frame our eyes by doing our eyebrows. I think the most important thing is your eyebrows. You definitely don't want to forget your eyebrows. I think they just really open up the face, they definitely open up the eye and they just give you that like bam, a made up effect without actually being made up. Yeah, I'm using this Makeup Forever Aqua Brow Waterproof Eyebrow Corrector. It is amazing. I've had this for ages, like ages and ages and ages and it has lasted for so long because you literally only need the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit. You can see it's actually the size of the width of my brush, a tiny piece, you only need a very small bit and we don't want to go overboard on the eyebrows either with these big heavily lined eyebrows because it is a natural makeup look, we have to remember. So I'm just going to take my eyebrow brush, this is a blank canvas brush and I'm going to take a tiny bit of the product, gently dabbing it onto the brush and then I am going to do my eyebrows. So I like to work back and forward on both eyebrows at the same time. That way when I've applied product to my brush, there's not a lot of product going onto just one eyebrow and then this one there's only a little bit. There's an even amount of product going onto both eyebrows at the same time. And as you can see, when I'm coming to the center, there's hardly any product on my brush. I'm just kind of using what's left to give it that nice natural graduated eyebrow that we're looking for. So now we are moving on to the most important step I was talking about earlier, our highlighter, making our skin look awake and alive. And I'm going back to my Kiko cream highlighter and I'm gonna apply it to all those areas that I applied the strobe cream earlier, applying the product where the sun would naturally hit my skin. I'm just gonna blend it in with my finger. I think your fingers are the best tools and our fingers can work perfectly to achieve a nice natural blended effect. So finally we are moving on to the last step in our beautiful natural everyday makeup look and it is of course the lips. We couldn't leave the lips out when it came to this makeup routine but today we're just using plain old Vaseline because it is a natural makeup look. Sometimes when you put lipstick on it can really do up your face but we just want to go for a nice natural glow. We've kept the skin quite light with the highlighter it's given it a nice glow and this Vaseline will give, also give our lips a lovely nice glow. So I'm just taking a tiny bit. And again, with my finger, applying the product. So we are finished our no makeup makeup look. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial. I've really enjoyed making it. I think this is a really simple natural makeup look that you can achieve easily at home. It's definitely one for beginners as well. So if you're not too confident with makeup, try this one out and see how you get on. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you like this video. And of course, check out my other videos. I'll leave all the products in the description below. So make sure to check them out. And thanks for watching. That's all about Aoife, out.